this is Mayella. Thank you for joining me again today. I want to do this video for all of you out there who are dealing with depression right now, who may be having fleeting thoughts of um, a suicidal nature, or maybe are having very strong thoughts about um, taking your own life about suicide right now. You see, this is something that I've experienced myself. wasn't that long ago, you know, if, if we go back to the, the period of 2004 right up until 2010, I was in a really bad place and I was in a very deep dark depression and I was dealing with suicidal thoughts myself and in fact I did contemplate suicide and, and overdose on more than one occasion. I knew even at that point that it wasn't my life that I wanted to take, it wasn't my life that I wanted to end, it was the pain that I was feeling, it was the despair that I was going through, it was the situation that I was living in, that I wanted to end and I didn't know how to get out of it, I didn't know how to um, make better choices for myself. I had given up basically, I'd given up on myself, I'd given up on life and I thought that there was nothing left for me, there was nothing out there for me that the world didn't need me, that the world didn't want me, that I wouldn't be missed. And so there was no other option for me at that time, I felt, than to end my life. Had I had succeeded, I would not be experiencing so many wonderful things that I am right now. I used to beat myself up regularly thinking that I couldn't be a mum, that I wouldn't be a mum, that I wouldn't have children and interestingly enough at that point when I gave up on everything, when I gave up on life and thought there was nothing worth living for, I was given the gift of a new life, I was given the gift of, of my daughter and I was also given the, the gift of rebirth as well. I didn't know at that time everything I was going through then. All these darker, more difficult times in my life were leading to something more. I didn't know there was a reason why I had to experience those things. Now I do. Now I understand that everything has took me to this place so that I can help others so that I can be there showing others that there is a way forward, that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Because you may feel like you don't have any other way out, you may feel like you've got no other option, but it's not the case. And it's not that you want to end your life, it's that you want to end your suffering, you want to end the pain, you want to end the confusion, you want to end the despair, you, you fall to the brim of pain and that's what you want at end. And the best way forward is to admit that. The best way forward is to admit that you need help and then to take action accordingly and to go in the direction of people that are there to help you because there's so many people out there just waiting to help you. There's so many people out there just waiting to be uh, a good positive um, shoulder for you to, to lean on, to offer that space for you while you get yourself back on your feet, to guide you forward in the way that, that you really need to be guided, to nurture you and support you in a way that you're clearly not getting right now. It doesn't mean that you are a bad person, it doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with you. And sometimes by opening up to the wrong people, we're made to feel that way. But it's not a reflection on you or anything you are going through. It's because those people are scared. 
they're scared of those those feelings they're scared of those emotions and they will shut themselves up because of the fear of of that and i want you if you can to find the right people to find people either qualified or people that have been through it themselves that do understand what you're going through and that are going to hold that space for you and show you love and show you support because there is a way forward there is light at the end of the tunnel and very likely the things that you are going through right now there's a reason for it and it may not be clear right now it may make no sense whatsoever it may be very painful maybe a lot of stress a lot of worry but later on it will all make sense like it did for me because now I understand everything I went through there was a reason for it and it didn't make any sense to me at the time whatsoever but I would not be here now doing this video for you right now had I had ended my life then I would not be in a place of helping others daily, of living my passions, of experiencing so many wonderful things on a daily basis. It does get better. It does get better. You just need to dig a little bit deeper if you can to be a, a little bit stronger for a little bit longer and it will all make sense and it will all get better for you and that's really the message that i want to share with you today you are not alone you are not alone even though you feel like you are right now even though you feel like nobody understands you that there's not a place for you in this world it's not true it's not true at all it's how you feel right now but it's not going to be how you feel forever i promise there's so much more out there for you there's so much that you have got to show the world, to give to the world, to offer to the world. What you are experiencing right now is not a forever thing. It's just what you're going through right now. And if you can hold on to that, if you can believe that, things will improve, things will get better. And I, I'm sending you all my love. And I'm wishing you all the very, very best. And if you feel like you've got nobody to talk to, if you feel like you, you haven't got that confidence to reach out to somebody you don't know, I am on Twitter. I'm also free on here as well, you know, to send a message, leave a comment below, reach out to me on Twitter. And I, I will help you in any way I possibly can. I will be there for you. You've just got to take that first step and, and reach out to somebody. And I found myself, just by speaking to somebody, just by opening up, that's all it takes. Very often, that's all it takes. You don't have to necessarily go down the route of taking medication if you feel that's not right for you clean up your lifestyle clean up what you're eating you know maybe cut out the, the alcohol or the the drugs if you're taking drugs you know do whatever you need to do to make yourself happier and healthier you know cut people out of your life that are toxic let go of that relationship that's not working for you that job that is bringing you down Whatever it is, it will get better and it will improve. So I'm going to leave that with you today. I'm sending you all my love. I'm wishing you all the very, very best. And I hope to see you again very